I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on application of perpendicular lines. The questions here have been picked up from GCSE. These are very important questions which at times students miss. In 2014, I had uploaded a similar question to uh, question number 9 where I got a comment saying, well, I have an exam, GCSE exam tomorrow and this is for the first time I'm looking into such a question which is so relevant to me. So that gave me a connection between the question and GCSE. Now we are once again taking it up since it is really a very critical part of our learning and also it is extremely important application of perpendicular lines. So I'm sure that these three questions will definitely help many of the viewers uh, to understand this application. So these three questions are a circle C has center 2, 5, the point A, 11, 8 lies on the circumference of the circle. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at A, question 8. A circle has equation x square plus y square equals to 5, P is a point 1, 2 on the circle. Work out the equation of tangent to the circle at P. And 9 is, the diagram shows a circle of radius 5, center the origin, find the equation of the tangent to the circle at 3, 4. So one and the same thing in all the three questions, you are given a point on the circle, whether you call it circumference or a point exactly or on a graph. And what you need to find is the equation of tangent to the circle at that point, correct? So the concept is like this. If we take a circle, this question 9 relates to the diagram given here. That's the origin, that's the point. So if I connect these two, in that case, any tangent at this point P will be perpendicular to the radius, correct? So that is, we are talking about perpendicular lines. Does it make sense? Now, let me give you the concept here and then we'll solve these questions one by one. So from here in general, if that is a point O, then the slope of OP is going to be what? Let's say M1, right? So in that case, if this is my tangent, let's take a point R on the tangent line, then what is going to be the slope of RP? Since these two lines are perpendicular, the slope will be negative reciprocal of M1, right? So it will be this much. Now, once you know the slope, you could use the equation of the line y equals to mx plus b, right? Here, you know what m is, right? So, in this case, the m will be given to you and also, you know, the point p. So, using the value of m as minus 1 over m1 and the point p, which could be any point, x, y, you would actually find the equation. So, these are the steps involved. We are going to repeat these steps three times and I hope by the end you will be an expert in solving such questions. So let's take question number seven now. Question number seven. A circle C centered at 2, 5. So let's put this point as 2, 5. The point A which is 11, 8. So let's have a point A which is 11, 8 here lies on the circumference of the circle. Find the equation of tangent to the circle at A, right? So, so let's draw a tangent at A, okay? And this is a radius which is going to be perpendicular, clear? And we will label radius as O, center O, correct? So as we have discussed, we'll find the slope from O to A, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it is 8 minus 5 over 11 minus 2. 
So that is 3 and 11 minus 2 is 9 and that gives you 1 over 3. Perfect. So let's take a point here which we'll call as B. So the slope of AB has to be negative reciprocal of slope at OA. So that is to say negative 3. We now know the slope of our tangent line. So, so we'll say let equation of tangent line be y equals to mx plus b. Now in this equation, what do you know? You know the slope and you also know the point A, which is 11, 8. Perfect. So now you can solve this by first writing the slope, which is minus 3x plus b. And then substitute the point A, which is 11, 8. You can do both the steps together also. No, no harm, right? So you write 8 for y minus 3. 11 times plus b. Take it on the other side, 8 plus 33 equals to b, and you get the value of b as what? 8 and 3 is 11, and 1, 41. So there you go. So you get equation as y equals to minus 3x plus 41. Is that clear? So these are the steps involved to get your answer. So go through them once again and then try to do question number 8 and 9 yourself. That will really help. Here is question number 8. So again the same thing. A circle has the equation x squared plus y squared equals to 5. Slightly different, okay. P is a point 1, 2 on the circle work out the equation of tangent to the circle at P. Now when they write an equation like this, let's try to understand the equation itself for the circle. x square plus y square equals to 5. Now since we are talking about perpendicular lines, many students might not have read about circles so far, right? So what does that mean? It means we are talking about a circle with center at the origin, right? And radius r of square root of 5, right? That is it. But what we need, really need here is the center itself, right? So we need the center itself, which is 0, 0, once again, right? It's the origin itself, okay? And we are given a point here. Let's call this point again as a, 1, 2, right? So it becomes exactly the similar question as we did. So we'll have the same approach. Let's call point B and we know this is perpendicular. Perfect. So first step, find the slope of O to A. And that is 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. Since this time the center is at the origin, it is a ratio of y and x values, which is 2. So, coming back to our tangent line, the slope AB should be negative reciprocal, right, of OA. So, it gives you minus half as your slope. And we are now looking for the point A, which is 1, 2. And the equation of the tangent will be what? Will be mx plus b, which I could write as y equals to minus half x plus b. To find the value of x, I have to substitute the given point, where 2 is y value and 1 is the x value. And now we can take it to the other side and simplify, correct? So we can write this as 2 plus half equals to b, which is 5 over 2 equals to b. And therefore, we get equation of a line as y equals to 
<coughs> minus half x and b value is 5 by 2. Now at times you may be required to write this in standard form. So I'll kind of extend it, right? So we can just multiply everything by 2. So we get 2y equals to minus x plus 5. Bring all the terms to the left side because I want this coefficient to be positive, right? So that could be one of your solution, right? That is very important. Now, sometimes you may prefer to use different equation than the given here. Right? The other equation which is normally used will be y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So this equation gives you direct answer in the standard form, okay? Which is nothing but reorientation of this particular equation where m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It gives you this equation. Perfect. So that could be a solution and I hope you learn this new method which is going to help you at times. Once again, question number 9. The diagram shows a circle of radius 5 centimeters. Center the origin. Find the equation of tangent to the circle at 3, 4. So, so that is the point. This is the center. So when you connect this point, then the radius is being seen here. And now if I draw a tangent line, it is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. Correct? So you have a case of perpendicular lines. Now we will actually write equation of this uh, perpendicular line with using both the methods. I hope that makes sense, right? So again, what is the slope of the radius? Slope of radius OP is basically 4 minus 0 over 3 minus 0. So whenever it is through origin, you could straight away write this as a ratio of 4 and 3. Clear? Now from here, if I take a point R on the tangent line, then what is the slope of P to R? Well, P to R will be negative reciprocal of the slope OP since they are both perpendicular. So it becomes minus 3 over 4. So once we have this, we can actually find the equation of line. To find the equation of line, this time, I'll use both the methods, right? So both methods which we learned are kind of like this. One, we have equation of the form of y equals to mx plus b. The other equation is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1, correct? So, in the first case, we can write this as y equals to slope of minus 3 over 4, x plus b. Substituting the value of this point p, which is 3, 4, where 3 is the x value, 4 is the y value. So we get 4 equals to minus 3 over 4 times 3 plus b. Taking this to the right, we get 4 plus 3 times 3 is 9, 9 over 4 equals to b. Combining, we get 16 plus 9 over 4 is the value of b, which is b equals to 25 over 4, correct? And therefore, the equation will be y equals to minus 3 over 4 x plus 25 over 4, clear? So that is slope intercept form equation. Now the other equation will be y minus the y value which is 4 equals to slope m which is minus 3 over 4 times x minus x value which is 3. Now we'll cross multiply. So when you cross multiply you get 4 times y minus 4 equals to minus 3 times x minus 3. Open the bracket. 4y minus 16 equals to minus 3y plus 9. Bring them all together. Sorry, this is x. 3 times x. So bring them all together. 4y minus 16 plus 3x minus 9 equals to 0. Always write the x term first. 3x 
plus 4y minus 25 equals to 0. So that becomes equation in standard form. Perfect. So at times you may be required to write the equation in standard form. In that way, second method is better. But both are equally good, right? You can adopt any method you like. So I hope you understand and appreciate how questions related to tangent to a circle can be done. So we actually solved all these three questions. They are very much related and I hope you have clearly understood the process. Thanks for watching. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.